Now let me come to you, Nanaya, uh, resident legal practitioner on the show this morning. What, what, what do you make of, I mean, we, we spoke about this last week, but now there's a new development following yesterday's ruling by the Supreme Court. Where do you stand on this? Good morning, uh, good morning to your viewers and good morning to my sisters and my auntie here. Now, uh, the, the Chief Justice quoted um, Article 2, and Article 2 is about when someone uh, makes a declaration and the Supreme Court says that they should stay execution, it has to be done because it says if you don't, do not do it, it's a high crime and you have 10 years. But uh, my issue is that this Article 2 has got nothing to do with the substantive issue. Because you see, Lara too says something here. He said that um, some of the laws and provisions, you don't need even a lawyer to interpret it. And that statement goes with 97 G and H. You don't need a lawyer to interpret it. And this constitution is for the people of Ghana. Clause 1, it says that the sovereignty of Ghana resides in the people of Ghana, in whose name and whose welfare the powers of government are to be exercised in the manner and within the limits laid down in this constitution. So typically, broadly, if you are saying anything, this book belongs to us. So if there is a provision that is so clear, I do not think that even we should take it to anywhere for interpretation. Number two, now, what the Supreme Court did, they could have just given us the interpretation instead of us going through this trouble. Because they said they were going for an interpretation. Why a stay of execution of speaker's declaration? They could so have that used, a substantive matter will no, be No, but they could have, just interpreting it. You don't need a, 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 a long distance to interpret a clause. Two clauses. We don't know what it takes. No, but I'm saying that it takes, I don't think it takes much if you really love this nation. The okay. nine hours you used to declare, because if they had just interpreted and said, okay, G means this, H means that, by now every, we would have settled into our, 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 our bosoms and we would have then Moved known on. what is, it is. Do you mm. get me? So why do we go through all this problem? A stay of execution, there's a no. Because they should just interpret the thing for us. We have a few days to elections. Do you understand? Speaker is in his house, too. Chief Justice is in her house. The President is in his house. Separation of powers. You, the media, you are also in your corner. Fourth estate of the realm. So, everybody has their power in their own domain. And I listened to Osei Chairman Sabonsu and um, Joe Ice. And they, you see, what they said was so synonymous. They said that this could have been dealt with internally. In Parliament. In Parliament. They said these are experienced uh, parliamentary legislators. He said this could have been dealt with internally. There was no need to go to Supreme Court to seek interpretation you have heard now now mamele morrison madam good morning me i love her mamele morrison at the weekend what happened in her constituency there was a clash have you ever seen two parties clashing like similar like parties i, I don't know like the People same, the same party. Side. have you seen them clash this one independent mpp they clashed so what is Mamele doing sitting in parliament on the ticket of the MPP? Her heart is not even there. So why are they forcing it? Me, I don't even want to go back to their constitution. Their constitution says exactly that you forfeit your position when you become an independent candidate or you join another political party. It is clear. It is in tandem with the constitution. G and H. Like I was saying procedure. When you read 97, A, B, C, D, E, F. There is procedure to exact those clauses. Yeah. When you come to GND, there is no procedure. It's automatic. It is automatic. And even the MPP constitution says automatic. You forfeit your position as a member of the party. Automatic. Instantly. You press and it is going. 
leave. So I don't see why we are wasting our time over all this. But you see, now it is sad that there is a state hijack by the MPP. A state hijack? Yes. What does that mean? They have hijacked our nation and we will take it back. Hijack? Yes, because they want to do what they want to do, they do. What exactly are you referring to in this context? I'm, I'm referring to everything. This constitution is clear. This is our constitution. The sovereignty of Ghana. It has stated 97G and H that when you do A, B, C, D, you are out. The MPP is trying to tell us that because of them, because of their egos, we should go through all this trouble. Because they went to the Supreme Court? To do what? To seek interpretation there is no, no, of the this constitution. One does, it's not every clause in this book that needs interpretation. Okay, what is the meaning of the sovereignty of Ghana resides in the people? Do you need interpretation? If you if you want it interpreted, I am you asking can go you, to the Supreme Court. Do you need Court. interpretation? So you just pick a dictionary to find what is the meaning of sovereignty. There are different ways of interpreting the constitution. Uh, no, I mean, it's as simple it's as not as always a dictionary. I am telling it's you. not always literal. No, 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 no but I am it's telling you. It's I not am, always dictionary. Please, I beg you. I am telling so you that there lawyers? are certain lawyers, they have their role. Have lawyers in, and judges? Please, they have their role in certain areas of the law. But there are certain areas of the law that is clear and explicit. The one example is 97 G and H. See, the fact that you As, think please. it's clear and explicit, and Lorato doesn't think it's clear exactly. and explicit, it's the yes. reason why no. the Supreme Just Court because, is there. Because, then, because two of you have different opinions no. on the same I issue. No, because, That's why the because, Supreme Court, please, please. the Constitution itself, allows you to come to the Supreme Court please, I am saying if that you need a matter to be interpreted. Clauses, the same Constitution please, you are referring to. There are certain to. clauses that does not need this extensive charade this one is clear okay do you get me it is clear within the jurisdiction in which this law applies and it is also clear and in tandem with the constitution of the party in question have you heard have you seen the ndc contesting they have removed one of their members because it is in tandem with their constitution Right. And this is in tandem with the MPP. Go and read the MPP constitution. This is even stronger than this one. They say automatically you are gone. So now, instead of making this a legal issue, you have turned it into a political issue. Because it is about a group of people who are afraid to lose some kind of uh, uh, um, control. But they don't have any control in the parliament because it is 137, 137. It's a magnanimity of the speaker that has allowed this to happen. Because initially, as I said, the independent candidate should always remain independent. Vote with MPP and come back and sit in their seat. Do you get me? But because they added and said we are majority former, did they have the same colors? During the election 2020, what colors did a former MP, what colors did he use? As an independent candidate, did he, did he use MPP colors? He, the, the notice of post, what was the independent? So now these two people sitting there, their heart is not even there. Let's even leave, leave the legal aspects. Their heart is not there. But you see what? <laughs> Let me tell you. You see, MPP, eh? if they think that they can do this to us, on the 7th of December, 2024, hmm, they cannot stay our tumble. They can stay. They cannot stay our tumble. They cannot stay the proceedings of your tumble. They cannot stay it. <laughs> no, no, because yeah. then we are going to use that tumble to get them out all right we will suck them do you get right. it i mean seriously now nah, this is this is very unfortunate me yesterday i watched half and i stopped because you see then i needed my blood pressure medicine i noticed that if i i added on i have to take more that's that's dangerous no no because seriously okay. now why should we go through all this okay. just because of a simple clause just because of a group of people who have an ego okay and you see let me finish the CJ made certain comments. Me, she's a woman. When I'm talking about women, I'm a bit careful because when women are in a high place, I respect, I mean, it makes me happy. It adds on to uh, the 30% in that high place. And I've, I've met her several, very nice person. But you see, the condition, the things that she said, I beg go, please. It is no law. What is no law? That she's saying that, oh, they will lose their allowances. That is not part of the law. 
She said that they will lose. All right, let me read what she said. Yes, she said they will She lose said the effect uh -huh. of the speaker's uh -huh. ruling mm -hmm. would be that salaries, allowances, and other entitlements of these members of parliament would have to stop being paid immediately. Indeed. One of the four members of parliament is the second deputy speaker of parliament. So that one is a law. Is that, more important? that is not law. What about those who lost their jobs when MPP came? And eight years they haven't had salary. But the judges don't only speak I law. am asking you. We are talking There law. are other things they, they Please, say in I addition. You, this is not church. <laughs> this is law. We are, we are talking about law. Is that law? Okay. I mean, is it, is, is, is it in the constitution? Is it part of the interpretation? Okay. I, I just want to find out. 